Hello, and we're back for part two of Rocket's Tricky Decision. Uh-uh, no way. I am going exactly nowhere as long as the boys' club is watching. All right. I am going to show poor Nicole how it's done, while her buddies look on. Oh, great. Like, I need an audience right now. Um, let's be confident. Oh, right. Okay, you guys, looks like I'm signing up the slacker crew. Keep your eyes peeled for a little skill in action here. Hey, do your thing. Yeah, while we watch. You think that's gonna bother me? If I were you, I'd watch Nicole while I trample her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely watch Nicole. I didn't do anything to make you- Rocket, Nicole, what incarnation is going on here? Can't we play a single game without the world coming to an end? But Mrs. Lutzi, she- Enough! Enough! Spare me the sob stories today. The time's shot anyway, so girls, let's cool down and hit the locker room. Everybody hear me? That's it! Arriva Dirty, out of my side! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Rocket! Arriva out of hey, my listen, side! Hey, listen, guys, is it my fault the girl can't stand on two legs? Well, if she thinks it's your fault, nothing else matters, right? Oh, that's really great. Noxious Nicole strikes again, and in red underpants yet. Typical. Rocket, have I got a deal for you. Come to my party Saturday night, and you two can settle it there. Yeah, that should be interesting. I doubt it. Really? I mean, thanks, Max, for the invitation, I mean. And don't worry, I'm not going to, like, make a scene with Nicole or anything. Gee, too bad. Hey, buddy, we gotta fly. Yeah. Yeah, me too. See you guys. Bye, Mavis. Hang in there. Well, just got invited to Max's party. Oh, Jesse, hi. Could you come over here for a minute? I've been trying to come up with some ideas for, like, Halloween costumes. Could you just look at my sketches and see what you think? Wow, Rocket. These drawings are so good. They're all really neat. What's this one? Like Cleopatra? Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking of. Actually, I think I could put it together pretty easily. But if you did, go with that one, I mean. Then maybe you should, like, make that headdress thing more exotic. Really? Oh, yeah. Cleopatra was a queen. She was powerful, you know. She was probably, like, a total fashion trendsetter of her times. In fact, I'm sure she would have worn something completely amazing on her head. Yeah, like maybe a crescent moon. Jesse, this is great. But wait, how do you know all about Cleopatra and all that? Oh, I don't know. My mom's an Egyptologist. You know. Like an expert in stuff about ancient Egypt? So then I kind of got interested myself. It's pretty neat. Wow, I didn't know that. Maybe sometime you could, like, show me more about it. Yeah, I'd really like to. But I gotta get ready for gym right now. Okay, Rocket? Yeah, okay. Bye bye, Jesse. Bye. Would you please just get out of my way? You're always just leaving your disgusting little messes right by my stuff. Gee, sorry, Sharla. That's not good enough, Jesse. You say that every single stupid time. Me and my friends are gonna, like, find you one of these days and show you how sorry you can be. Well, I've got friends too, Sharla. Yeah, well, I feel sorry for them. And if they get in front of my eyes, they'll be as bad off as you. Pound, pound, get it? Sharla is a terrible person. Oh no, it's Sharla. I wish I could help Jesse, but there's no way I'm getting involved. That Sharla needs a dose of her own mean medicine. 
and I'm just in the mood to give it to her. Uh-oh, it's Sherlock on the warpath. Guess this is my cue to step in as the friendly referee. Oh no. Let's just not get involved. Junk. Could you just move it? Gee, Sharla, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Every time I come to my Look at me. Jesse's getting blasted by Sharla, and I'm slinking off like I don't even know what's happening. I can't believe myself. Well, yeah, but Jesse should fight her own battles anyway. Why does she need me to interfere? I mean, she never asked for help, right? Okay, right, she didn't ask. But why can't I just step in and kind of give her back up anyway? Isn't that what a real friend would do? What, do I need an invitation or something? Okay, I admit it. I'm afraid. Charlotte gets pretty scary sometimes, like now. So how do I get over it and help Jessie stand up to the mean queen? Good question. Meg would know what to do, most definitely. So where are you when I need you, best friend? That I've got to get out of here. To say the same thing for you, Jesse. But just remember, if you leave your stuff. All, all right, let's see. Oh, okay. Promise I have to pick as which right one I want to go to. As of right now, you're invited to my party. Promise me you'll come to Nikili's, okay? I want to go to the popular party. Let's as of go right to the now, popular party. Here we are, the popular party. Ruben playing. I almost forgot how awful it feels to be a third wheel. I'm remembering fast. This is totally embarrassing. I mean, I'm like invisible here. Why did I even come to this stupid party? So, where's Nicole already? I really want to see her outfit. Oh, you mean you haven't seen it yet? I have. What is it? Like a special costume or something? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Nicole's wearing, I just know it's going to make me look even more invisible around here. I'm sure it's great. But I doubt she can outdo me. I don't know and I don't care either. I'm sure. Let's be calm now about. tell me the truth, you guys. See this like ultra cool thing hanging on my body? No matter what she's wearing, could Nicole really do better? The truth now, I promise I won't tell her you agree with me. So look who's here, the girls club. Hey, get it right, Max. It's the ones. Excuse me, Cleve, but it's the ones minus one. And plus a no one. <laughs> You're obviously taking lessons from Nicole or something, aren't you, Stephanie? Whoa, Rocket, nice costume. Excellent. Yeah, Nicole thinks she looks hot. So wait till she sees you. See? Thanks for noticing. My own creation, actually. Yeah, we were just admiring Rocket's costume. Stephanie, you weren't. It looks like your party's really good, Max. Great band, too. Didn't I tell you it was the place to be? Cleve, would I ever lie about my legendary party-giving talents? Tell this girl. Anybody who gets invited to this address is definitely full status. Yeah, but did anybody pay to get in? Ha ha! Consider yourself lucky to be here, Rocket. Really. Way lucky. Listen, I'm cruising. Who's coming? Oh, oh I, I am. I am. Let's go get Nicole, Max. Yeah? Hey, Rocket. So, uh, enjoying yourself? So far, so good. But I hope the band's gonna play a lot more. I really like them. I'm gonna find my own way. Oh, my locker is flashing, so maybe we should go look at the hallway. Let's go down, look at these first. Viva? Oh yeah, I never did find them after school to do the costumes. Cute. Or 
Scorpios, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, I'm a Taurus, Arrow and Reuben are Tauruses. It's a party, you know when, you know where, Max. Well, I have one thing to say after today. If Rocket has ever had a happy popular moment in this school, she better remember it because she is not having any more. She did the most terrible thing to me today. She made me look completely foolish in front of the whole P class. Not to mention Cleve and Max. Even Wartella Depew was standing there, the little beast. The worst part is now those guys are I'm sure going to be typical disgusting boys and make it into a big deal to everyone in school ew they make me so nauseous and rocket who's going to be really sorry she did this to me but the main thing is act like it never even happened if anyone laughs at me they will live to regret it let's look at max's locker my most important goal getting what i want of course now that is a sweet situation. Your party has been so fun and I just wish I could stay longer, but I kind of got invited to some other ones too. Wait till you get to high school and have to go from one to another. It's exhausting to have seen everywhere, so lucky for now. I'm writing this note as kind of a surprise. You can find it in your stuff and think about me a little bit after everyone's over. Everything's over. Your house is fantastic. I like all the weird stuff, like a strange museum. I hope to get to see you some more some other time. So thank you and Bev, of course. Lots for inviting me. Be a good boy and don't get in too much trouble like your sister says you always do. Michelle T. Already read that. Prizes for costumes. First prize guy hot model with digital controls first prize girls some perfume junk second prize guy bag of peanuts ha huh? did we party oh yes we did life is good even looked the other way when Bo came crashing dragging that little hothead charlotte along with him i was feeling generous what can i say Popular girl one more time. This is probably the thing Mavis was talking about. Maybe I hope I don't want to know any of the worst disasters than this, especially since I didn't really have to do with it and Nicole isn't mad at me for anything. Okay. I still can't go in the teacher's lounge. Oh well. Ick. I've got to get away from him. Now. I don't know what to do. If I keep this up, I'll be bored stiff. But gee, I think I'd better stick by Cleve. That way, maybe I'll look sort of like I belong here. I don't know what... I'm actually not sure I'm having that great a time yet, Cleve. If you really want to know, I mean, it's okay and everything, but... Listen, truce for the moment, all right? Rocket, I'll trade you. Reuben for Cleve, is that fair? Well, I'm game. Um, well, sure, why not? I mean, I guess so. Is that okay? I mean, like with them? They have no choice. You have no choice. You are prisoners of war. Switch. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Be quiet and come with me. You're through making me look like an idiot. See you, Rocket. Thanks. Yeah, well, whatever, Nicole. Hmm. 
<laughs> what a total drama queen Nicole is. But I don't care. This party is worth the challenge. Ugh, why did I even come here? This party is a big zero in the good times department. How depressing. I feel like I'm starring in a movie called Adventures of the Invisible People. Let's be positive. Ooh, what a trip. Did I just wake up from a nightmare? She's not always this bad. No, maybe you're right. She's awful all the time. Scary. Yeah, but I bet somewhere in there she's got a sweet side. You want to bet? No, really. I mean, there must be times when she just acts friendly and sweet to people. Okay, Rocket. Your job is to do an archaeological dig into Nicole's personality and let me know what you find. I say she's solid stone all the way through. Hey, don't you believe in seeing the best in people, Ruben? In this case, we've already seen the best. And unfortunately, that's as good as it gets. Well, all I'm saying is you could be wrong. Yeah, and next week she'll be your best friend, right? Well, I'm not saying that. But you never know. Really? Listen, Rocket, I've got to get back. The groupies need me, you know? <laughs> Are you going to be around after we do our next set? Actually, I think I'm about ready to look for a ride home. This party isn't exactly the great thing I thought it'd be. Yeah, I know what you mean. So I'll probably talk to you at school. Okay, then. Have fun. I'll always try, anyway. Well, there I was in the land of the giants. <laughs> I mean, all the popular kids. And I thought it was going to be so great. But you know what? It was kind of a drag, actually. So I guess I got into the cool space. But here's my question. Can I stay there? And do I even want to? Hmm. Well, okay, that was the end. So you can play again, or you can watch it, or you can preview more adventures where the hidden hallway awaits. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed Rocket's tricky decision, and I will be doing more playthroughs of the following Rocket games that came out after this. Hope you enjoyed watching.